Well, hi, hello, and welcome. We haven't been in this screen for a while, have we? Look at this beautiful intro. Listen to the sound. Listen to it. We are back with the Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle Earth Online Edition in parentheses, doesn't really matter. Parenthesis, that's not what I mean, doesn't matter. We are gonna start the bad campaign today. I'm gonna make a nice start to my vacation and just continue playing one of my all time favorites. And turning down the audio as well. What you got to say, Gandalf? Nothing? That's fine. Let's hear what he has to say now. The Dark Lord Sauron That's not Gandalf. Oh, I forgot it's Saruman. With its power unleashed, he will dominate all of Middle Earth. Only Gondor lies between Mordor and the lands beyond. Once it falls, all of Middle Earth shall be Sauron, Rohan, the lands of the Horse Lords. Soon these lands will have a new master. Me. Is what he was meant to say after that. What's the name of the actor again? Guard. Once allied to Gondor, this land now serves a new master, the Dark Lord Sauron. I'm never gonna get the name of him, so I'm not gonna try and remember. Right, cutscenes are allowed to remember. <laughs> Those leaves. Alright, Isengard turned into one big Uruk factory. We have much work to do. Feed our forges with wood from the great forests of Fangorn. With enough fuel, we shall breed a mighty army of orcs. With enough fuel, we shall breed a mighty army of orcs. We are back in the Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle Earth. It has been a while. God damn, it has been a while. All right, let's see what the what, whoa, 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 calm down. What's that all about? What is that all about? Is it just that area of the map? That looks kind of janky over here. <laughs> that looks really weird. Hmm. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. It kind of looks a bit like a meme. But that doesn't look that good, does it? Well, anyway, let's build an Uruk pit and get our army going, huh? So, yeah. Wow, that's really annoying. If I zoom in a bit more... Right, it's just because of the zoom out mod, like the game isn't used to having to render the textures at that zoomed out point so i'm gonna play this mission a bit more zoomed in than usual but i think it's better to play a bit more zoomed in than usual than to have those kind of tree textures than to have those kind of tree textures jumping around everywhere uh we're definitely gonna get another one of the mills going the the lumber mills that's what i'm looking for lumber mills so yeah lord of the rings back to rts games as I've said three times already, it's been a while. Played a lot of uh, Hearthstone in the meantime, played a lot of Minecraft. But played, I mean recorded. That's also a bit off, isn't it? Well, you gotta give up, give up something for the nicer resolution, I guess. But uh, yeah, everything has a price. I've missed this game. I hope you guys have missed them too. At least the people who watched me for um, for this. Let's clear these guys out real quick and move him back a bit. What's his passive again? Leadership? Awesome. So we just empower some nearby troops. Get another Uruk pit going. Oh, it's starting to rain. Let's just get into it. Why can they reach them? Is their range really too short to reach them? Alright, they have to stand over there. Alright, let's get a couple more crossbowmen going. 
these guys. We have found another good place for a building, but I think we're almost running out of trees already. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Let's get our fire arrows over there as soon as possible. Right, set them on fire, guys. Come on. Don't know where the other troops going, but uh, yeah. Definitely want to use our fire arrows for this now, don't we? These guys don't have fire arrows. Well, that doesn't really matter, I guess. We just have to get rid of these ants right now. You guys can go and kill this one. Well, the rest takes out the other ones. You can help and take out this one. Look at our... Look at our woodcutters. A woodcutting level? Nice. Look at our woodcutters going all, going ham, going to town. Hopefully those were the only ends for now. Let's get Gandalf. Gandalf. I'm gonna say that a lot probably. I've really been used to playing the good side of this campaign of course. But I hope you guys can understand that seeing as I like completed the entire campaign with them. So yeah, I... Alright, let's move our entire army over here for now. As yeah, I've completed the entire campaign with the good people already, the good people of Middle-earth. So it's gonna, gonna take a while to make the shift to this other side of the story that we're in right now. But I hope you guys are as hyped as I am either way to get started on this series. Um... I might even finish this just in this vacation alone because I have a lot of time to record now. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to make this into kind of a daily thing because the editing will definitely still take a lot of time as always but um, yeah we'll see I guess. I think once the, the trees in here are depleted they might just like go up. They might just go out of the wall. Well, let's get our army back over here, then. They're sending a lot, sending out a lot of ants. Well, nobody's really sending sending out the ants, I guess. They're doing this on their own account. But uh, yeah, they shouldn't be too big of a problem, I think, but still. This one's rank 2 now, but I don't think it really matters, because I, I would love to get some more upgrades, but it does not seem like that's possible for now. Gandalf still going strong over here, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see our. We still need to get the hundred urks, some more buildings. Samurai needs to level up. Yeah, this should all be easy enough, right? Let's get a couple more crossbow guys going over here as well. So yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a daily thing because I wanna make some other content in the meantime as well, probably still. Um. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do with this vacation exactly, what I'm going to record, when and stuff. Maybe I should kind of get an, um, a recording a recording schedule going for myself, but I don't know if it's going to be that professional, professionalized already. Um, yeah, let's see what the future brings, I guess. That's really bright, that kind of scared me a bit. The Rohirrim have arrived. arrived. I'm gonna use him to kind of blast them a bit. Maybe they will start the yep, update. Let's make sure Gandalf doesn't die for a second. Alright, you guys can start attacking now. And I'll just stand there. That was pretty effective. I gotta give it to him. That was pretty effective. Alright, you can move up. You can move up Gandalf. We, uh, Gandalf. <laughs> As I said, it will probably take a while. Why are you guys not working? Come on. There's some more trees out here, isn't there? Let's make sure we do control 100 orcs at the end of the mission as they want us to do. Let's create some more random things. This isn't going to be the end yet, is it? Maybe it is. We need to build some more buildings as well. Is this the last one, maybe? Ho I hope so, because there's no other trees, so yeah, so that's gonna be the last one of that. And we have the 100 Uruks as well. Mm, we need to build the 16th building. Is that the 16th one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is only 15, but there's 
There's no other trees. Did we miss a spot? We missed a spot. That should be building number 16. Don't don't kill, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. We should have we should still have like enough to be a hundred, right? Yeah, well definitely. Alright, so now we can finish them off. Let's use Sauruman for that real quick. And there we go. The land has been stained with the blood of men. Well, my mom just came in, so that's gonna be a bit of an abrupt ending to this episode, but yeah. You gotta make lemonade if life gives you lemons or something like that. Anyway, that was the first episode of the bad campaign. Um, didn't get that much insightful commentary in to keep the, the theme of these Lord of the Rings episodes going, because that's what I always say and always do. But I want to thank you a lot for watching. I hope you are looking forward to the next one of these as much as I am. And I hope to see you in that one as well. Like Saruman is looking into his palenti right now. I want to see you just like that. Find you a girl who looks at you the way Smeagol looks at the ring. Or Frodo looks at the ring. Nah, it doesn't matter. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the banger on the background. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.